Hello everyone, I will be presenting you today. And uh, my project is that I will talk about this health feedback. So, it's a connection manager for Ring. Yeah, we can you the yeah. just mute this one, yeah? Yeah, mute the slides and the How do you uh and then he muted himself? Oh he muted himself, okay. <coughs> hello, hello. Can you speak yeah, speak yeah, up yeah, please? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Tell him to, to and stop his speaker. Yes. Not his microphone. Can you hear us, hello? Well, you, you need to unmute him. Yeah, but I think he muted himself, so he made the decision. Mm. Hello, you, you need to unmute yourself. Hello, can you unmute yourself? <coughs> oh, maybe not. No, he needs to. He needs to do it. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Hello? Hi. Yes, very, very well. So, so it was mute, but now, yeah? Okay, now I'm back. Go ahead. Should I start? Yes. yes. <laughs> Yeah. So, hi, hello everyone. I'll be talking about, so this talk is about Telegram Bell, which is a connection manager for Ring. So, anyone of you are wondering why it's such a strange or weird thing, I'll explain that as well. So, let me introduce myself. Some introduction. Uh, I'm Alok Anand. I'm maintainer of Telepathy Bell. I'm a, I'm a semi science student third year in India. And, uh, I've been, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I've worked on Telepathy Bell my Google Summer Club project in September 2016. So, as I already mentioned, uh, this was my Google Summer Club project. I had some, some excellent mentors. The idea was uh, proposed by Daniel himself, and he was involved with ABM. He was also working on Telepathy Reciprocate. Okay. So, and Stephen Salimkovic was a member of the Shibuya Carolina Spring team. And uh, Alexandra Kulich, who is an active maintainer of Telepathy QB. So he's be to guide me throughout my project. I think the slides have been stuck. You're there, Alok. We can see the slides. Are the slides visible here? Yeah, yes. we can see them. So you can continue. Uh, so I actually do not see the really updated slide on my screen. So the telepathy connection I got question mark. Thank you. Yeah, but. Yeah. 
mute that one with the slide. Go to the top. Oh, to unmute. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. And unmute the top. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't hear you. Can you can you locally display my slides? Yes, we can so see the slides. Yeah. So you can you? Okay. Hmm. you can see. No, I I I I I cannot see the slides in my myself. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I don't care. So okay, let me get back here. So this this is a. So there was a telepathy talk earlier in the school today. I'll just be reiterating some key points about telepathy. So telepathy defines itself as a, a modular framework that can allow real time communication services to plug as a back end. They all can work together in this common framework. And uh, so there are several components to this modular framework. Uh, we will have, have a look at the major ones from the perspective of the uh, particular connection manager developing developer point of view. There's a connection manager, which is the, which is the service which is the which forms the pluggable protocol backend part of the framework. And uh, these uh, these service can allow other communication services like text, power, etc. And this, the client will be the application that user uses to interact with the telepathy framework. The example would be Gino, which is available empathy, which is available in Gino, and even KD has KD telepathy, which is the which is an example extra value KD. And there are other relevant other relevant uh, components which uh, don't uh, which we don't need to go into details right now, but I'll mention them for completeness. So the account manager and channel dispatcher. So, so while looking at this overview, uh, you can see that this will be the, uh, in a typical MS desktop, this will be the case for uh, bus, which is used to share all the signals, events, messages, etc. and all the services. On the top half, you can see the, the components of telepathy which are necessary for telepathy. Account manager, channel dispatcher, logger, etc. So on the lower half, you can see what uh, relevant is more relevant to us, such as the which will be the connection manager, and other kind of connection managers can exist on that as well. Uh, telepathy client, I think, in this case, and other applications which are connected to the first thing are also there. So this is the general overview in the Nexus. What's all the what all things will be connected to the bus. Telepathy is a very uh, Divas extensive, it uses Divas extensively. Now, let's have a quick look at the ring. There was also a talk about ring earlier, and I will also skim through the key points here. So, ring is a ring is a new real time system service, it's open source, and uh, it's developed by CBOK Linux. So, what is, what is unique about Ring is that it uses a distributed peer-to-peer -peer network. Some key components are there. Uh, open, so some key points about Ring is uh, it uses OpenBSD. This is where all the magic of peer-to-peer -peer networking lies. And uh, when using Ring, every user will use a Ring ID. So this is a this is just like a shower match, 21 sorry 20 bytes, so 40 digits, hexadecimal digits. Prefixed by a ring pool. So, this will be a ring ID. This is an example of a ring ID. So, every user will have a unique ring ID associated with him on the distributed network. It has, it has several sides. 
for Google's Mac, Linux, Android, Apple, and Linux. But uh, since we are discussing about Linux here, we will be looking into the Linux client uh, server. It's a GNU project. It has become a GNU project. If a beta to release was, was there was a beta to release on November. So fair, fair amount of development is going on in print. And uh, a small, a small brief introduction into its architecture. So we can say that it has a three-tier architecture. The core part of it is the library. Uh, here is where the ring daemon and the PHP lies. You can you can roughly say that this is the core part of the ring, the core logic of ring. There is a libgrin client, which is common to all, which is common to all the platforms, even in Linux. And that libgrin client is then used by ring genome and ring KD. So ring genome is the official ring application, while ring KD is a community contributed version. So there are the, the, these codes, these both of them are user level application clients for ring. So why use a tel that? So I had some very simple reasons, simple and straightforward reasons for that. Brain daemon has a very well documented exposed API. So we can exploit that and easily create a connection method. It makes an advantage. It makes the development process quite easy and quick. So the three frameworks are and its clients are installed by default in many distributions, such as Ubuntu has Empathy installed by default, KD or as I mentioned earlier, KD also has KD template in its framework. By, by that we can say that it will be a lower entry barrier for new users. A new user does not have to uh, may not have to install the KD uh, the ring, ring client and the application can directly use the connection manager to create new account and do some basic small tasks such as following messages, etc. And that, thereby it reduces the installations that we need to do. Thereby, and connection manager is also quite good in life. So, this will be the preview of, okay, this will be the preview of uh, while using telepathy. Better. As I mentioned, the ring client of as I, as I mentioned, there is a ring client. It also, Hang on. Yeah, yeah. As I mentioned, there is a ring client. It also uses the same DBAS. Same DBAS. Yeah, which is exposed by the ring daemon. And, then, yeah. and so can telepathy bell or the connection manager can use that. So it's simply to interact with ring daemon and telepathy client, thereby just reducing this another step. And so as you can see that can be equally powerful as a ring client. May not may not have almost all the functions of the ring client, but it can be equally it can certainly do a lot of basic tasks such as policy messaging, etc. So now what are all the things that I implemented, what are all the things that I did while I was working on a project? The first thing that I did was to create a base skeleton project. I used C and I used LPDQP as a backend. And this, and, and then I made sure that I could connect to Green Daemon, I could use Vibus, I could debug, everything was working, and after that I implemented some basic account management functions. So uh, by basic I mean uh, creating a simple account, associating a username or a PDS to the account. These are the simple things. And some basic contact management. While I was working on while I was working on Ring. It, it did not have the features to support full value contact management. It did not involve contacts as well. So what I did was, uh, I, during the lifetime of a connection, I could associate any person who calls by any ring ID, which there's a message, incoming message or something like this. I could associate with a temporary contact for the lifetime of the connection. So this is what I did with that. It's all there. Hello. Um, Hello. Can you can yeah. you wrap it up in yeah. one minute so Jamini has some time to present also? Okay, okay, I'll wrap it up. Okay, thank you. And uh, although although it was not part of the project, I did create a dev package just for experimentation purposes. I didn't do any basic calls and 
So I think I may not have a time for a demo, but I think it will make it quick, very quick. Uh, so, so I'll be using the I'll be using my phone to send a quick message to my train plan. So I'll be sending hi, this is live. And let's go the message pops up. So this is the client and this is the blocking. This is the logic blocking here. Still sending a message. Try this one here. Okay. This is the because it's the traffic on the network right now. So I'll skip this for the agent. Well, I have this, or I should also include some constriction from this that I was talking about in the topic. So, get that. so there is a lot that can be done. Down management, click can be contact management done. Since everything is done over DBUS, we just believe that it would be heavy, heavy for a video call, for a high quality video call, but still all the possibilities can be looked at. All other features that are that dream will be adding itself can also be added. So I'd like to also answer a question which is the important one. Why is this connected to the like and this connection and so I've been kind of hoping for them to have a stable API since the project only aimed at creating a very bare bone skeleton for connection manager, since Ring is also being developed at fast rate. And in within no time, there will be a stable API that I can work back and have significant updates to the connection manager. That's why I've been talking for some time regarding this. Okay, so at last I will reiterate this Unix philosophy. Do one thing and do it well. But when we are using telepathy, we ensure that we use one thing which is good at doing all things. So it will help people reduce in the massive amount of efforts that they do by creating their own desktop clients for their own services. Most of these features abstract now and abstracted that can be extracted and easily integrated into the framework and the framework. And I would recommend anyone who wants to create a simple client application to have a try and tell it with us. Thank you. If there are any questions, uh, feel free to mail me. Uh, oh, I'm also available at this is, this is my GitHub profile. This, is, this will be my GitHub profile. It's there included in the slides. And uh, I will also treat the slides as after the start. So that's it. Thank you. All right. Let's wrap up. Any questions? <laughs> Thanks, all. Thanks. Any questions? No, Quick no, questions? I cannot see you, but, but yeah. I, just, yeah, I can hope that I look as cool as no. Any okay. question for Two. Alo? Yeah? No. Okay. Thank okay. you, yeah. Alok. Thanks, Alok. It was yes. great to have yeah. you participate. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you for having me. And it was great work, too. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um.